Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. This is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marque bringing you Matters of Faith with Graphic Online. Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marque of Living Streams International. Before I say anything, I want us to um, hear this and we're embarking on a 21-day fast where we are uh, praying, we're waiting upon God, there's Living Streams International. And normally, our, our, our fasts are characterized by amazing, amazing testimonies. Testimonies of what God um, does. And I must be very honest with you, some of the uh, testimonies are really, really out of this world. And sometimes it might sound like bragging, but it's not bragging. People are having encounters. People are having divine encounters. Listen, join us from the 18th of January to the 7th of February as we seek the face of God from uh, 6 in the morning to 6 in the evening. It's, it's, it's a, like a half a, a day fast, not a 24-hour fast. But if your doctors advise you not to do anything like that, I don't think you should. And if you're on medication, I think you should do this fast on the, based on the advice of your doctors. And this morning, I'd like to uh, capture my thoughts in the, with, the, with the words, non-scarring devotion. Sometimes we can have misplaced priorities. And these misplaced priorities uh, could be an indication of uh, what we get especially from God and sometimes this misplaced priorities we might think that oh this is what God wants but in reality that's not what he really wants he wants something more than that and uh, so my scripture is taken from Luke chapter 10 from verse 38 to 40 and this talks about uh, the story of two sisters Mary and Martha now these were sisters who really loved Jesus and they were very interested in the welfare of Jesus and then the Bible says Jesus went visiting their house one, on one of those days. And um, Martha, seeing that Jesus had arrived, she rushed to the kitchen and that was where she got herself real busy. I mean, she was, I'm sure that if Martha cooks, I mean, that would be a, a good one. You know, she was busily cooking for Jesus and she was real, real, real busy. But Mary, the Bible says, did not go to the kitchen and she came and sat um, at the feet of Jesus just to listen to him. Now, after a while, you know, uh, we are working. Jesus came to all of us and we need to come into the kitchen, you know, so that uh, uh, Mary, if Mary says, okay, this one, two tablespoons of salt or something like that, then uh, um, uh, Martha would say, okay, let's add a little bit of olive uh, oil there, you get it, and I put a little bit of beans or lentils here and there, you get it, to add flavor to it. Mary wanted cooperation. Now, she was was busy cooking for Jesus but the Bible says Mary Martha was busy cooking for Jesus but Mary was sitting at the feet of Jesus and just listening to him enthralled with the words of his mouth enthralled by the things that she was she was she was being fed she was feeding on 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 the wisdom and power and the knowledge and the and the spiritual impact of Jesus's words the Bible says she began to complain and then she said, you know, Lord, I'm busy in the kitchen cooking. I'm really the one who is doing the job for you, God. You know, things like that. And then, <laughs> and then, I mean, uh, so talk to my sister. Let her come and join me. Let's cook for you. I'm doing the most important thing. And then Jesus said, you know what? Martha, Martha, what you have chosen is okay. But your sister has chosen the better part. She has chosen the better part. And what was Jesus saying? It is not about responsibility, it's about relationship. Jesus was saying, Martha, I would have preferred you to also spend time listening to me. Because man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. I like to feed your soul. I like to feed your spirit. I like to make you pregnant with the words of God. I like to speak into your heart. And I like to uh, uh, speak life transforming words to you. But here you are, so busy, and then you are neglecting the better part so it is not about responsibility it's about relationship you know sometimes we get we get caught up in the busy 
and we get caught up, you know, just running around, doing everything that we have very little time for devotion. You wake up in the morning, the call from nature's call to the children's call to the demands by husband or demands by wife or demands by office and everything. You don't really spend time just seeking the face of God and committing the day and having time with Him. And sometimes even in our free hours, we occupy ourselves with every other thing minus devotion and spending time with Him. And sometimes many of us believe that by working for Him, tirelessly and healing ourselves that is the key it is not the key god wants you more to be with him and he to teach you and then to send you out listen to the principle the principle of the kingdom is very simple first relationship before responsibility jesus called his disciples to be with him and then to send them out so with him first before sending them out you know one thing you can get busy and that's okay but that's not the measure of your of, of, of what God wants with you. He wants relationship more with you. The more time you spend with God in prayer, the more time you spend with God studying His Word, the more time you, you do this thing in terms of fasting and just devotion to Him, you know, the more you strengthen the inner man for the challenges that are ahead. The more you have faith, the more you build up your faith, you know, and the more you, 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 you strengthen your spiritual inner being. So it is not just working for Him and I can tell you this, I've seen people work, 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 work. And sometimes you'll be surprised. Little, little things pull them down. And then you ask, so do they, did they even have a relationship with God? And I can tell you, they were preoccupied with working for Him and they were neglecting the better part. They were neglecting relational devotion to Him. They were neglecting it. You don't want to do that. Spend more time with him this year. Learn to prioritize on what is most needful. What is most needful is spending more time with him and then to send you out. God doesn't mind spending 30 years just building you up, building you up for a three-year ministry that is going to be uh, impactful and that is going to transform the whole world. Than to spend 30, uh, three years spending time with you and then you go and waste 30 years of ineffective ministry. The most important thing is you prioritize between work and devotion to God. Well, it's always a choice, so see you later.